In order to get the most out of your Bolt 4K system, you need to make sure that your firmware is up to date. But before we get started on the firmware update, we want to highlight a few of the main features that have been added since the initial release of Bolt 4K. First and foremost, we've added fixed frequency mode, which allows users to specify a single frequency for the Bolt 4K system to link to. This feature can reduce the time it takes for the system to link when powered on. For best results, use the Spectrum Analyzer to ensure that the channel is clear. The latest firmware has also drastically reduced the time it takes from power on to connection, as well as disconnect to reconnect. This is a result of market improvements made to the Bolt 4K radios and software. RF performance has also been improved. The system deals with interference much more effectively, minimizing video interruption and making for a stronger, more robust connection. We've also added the ability to pair a receiver with up to four transmitters, allowing users to more efficiently switch between paired transmitters. When you switch your paired transmitter, it'll take approximately five to 10 seconds to link to the new receiver. This means on a multicam shoot, all receivers could potentially be paired to each camera's transmitter. Then crews simply select which transmitter they want to view at any given time, making for a very streamlined way to move between video feeds. Now that we've walked through some of the improvements, let's get into the process of updating the firmware. We'll start by opening the navigation bar and going to teradec.com downloads. Next, we'll select the drop down menu and find Bolt 4K. Then we'll select the most current version of Bolt Manager to download for Mac OS or Windows. You'll notice that our version of Bolt Manager is 3.4.24 and our firmware is version 4.1.3. These are likely outdated by the time you watch this video, so make sure you're downloading the most recent version. Bolt Manager is a software interface that allows your computer to communicate with your Bolt 4K device. Once downloaded, we'll double click on the installer and then receive this warning. This is because our operating system has special security settings that need to be addressed in order to install the software. Yours may or may not. We'll need to open System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, select the General tab, then we must hit OK on this warning. By hitting OK, it will bring up the option to open anyway, which will allow us to install the software. That will bring up the Bolt Manager installer. And then we'll just follow all the prompts until we've installed the software. And once it's installed, we'll go ahead and open Bolt Manager. Next, we'll want to power our receiver and connect our computer. We'll use a two pin Limo and a micro USB located on the bottom of the device here. Once our device is connected and powered on, we'll go into Bolt Manager, select the upgrade tab, then load from web and it will download the latest firmware file. Now we'll go down here to advanced options. In the table below, we can see the current version on our device as well as the newest version and identify if a firmware update is needed. We'll tick the boxes next to controller, video processor, and radio, then select start upgrade. It will take a minute to go through the upgrade process. Once finished, we'll receive this message that it was updated successfully. Next, we'll reach for a transmitter and go through the same process. We'll power it on, connect it to our computer via micro USB, make sure that we're in the upgrade tab, tick all three boxes and start our upgrade. The upgrade is successful. Now we can unplug our device and we'll test it. A firmware update does not require you to pair your transmitter and receiver again, but we just want to quickly walk you through the process on our mobile device for those that haven't done it before. We'll grab our mobile device, open our Bolt app, and press pairing. Then we'll select our transmitter, then select our receiver, and pairing is complete. So now our firmware is up to date and our device is ready to operate at its optimal efficiency. Please check back often for more updates to take full advantage of your Bolt 4K device. Happy shooting.